Now, the protracted feud between the Riva State Governor Simnelai Fubara and his predecessor, Nisha Mwiki Miha, have been publicly resolved with the intervention of President Bola Tinubu last December. But the camaraderie before shared by the two gladiators cannot be said to have returned, as the governor was absent from a luncheon hosted by his predecessor in Port Hackett, the state capital. While Wige, now the minister of the FCT, was present at the luncheon with many of his allies, Fubara and his men, both in the House of Assembly and the two other organs of government, were conspicuously absent. It was not clear whether the Wige camp invited Fubara and his men, but the governor and his people were not present and it was not mentioned that they sent in delegates. There was the horizontal agitation or a shift to the river Rhine. There was the vertical agitation for a shift to the river southeast in Terral district. There was a need to cause an intersection of both agitations and to get a candidate that will satisfy both the vertical and the horizontal agitations. In your wisdom, you were able to solve that puzzle and you brought out a candidate that was both a river Rhine candidate and a candidate from the River State Southeast Electoral District, and you pulled your machineries. <laughs> and you told all your generals to go to the trenches and go to work and deliver this candidate, whether we like the candidate or not. That is test of loyalty. We all moved to the field, and in the 283 local government areas, we delivered and brought back the result to you, Your Excellency. <laughs> Your Excellency, that same machinery is still alive. <laughs> Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. <laughs> the storm may be dear for a while, but joy will come in the morning. Your Excellency, we want to assure you once again that we are firmly and solidly with you and behind you today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, and forever. Meanwhile, former governor of Bainwe State Samuel Otom says the G5 group within the People's Democratic Party will support President Bola Tinubu's re-election in 2027. Addressing the gathering crowded by Uyghur's allies on Sunday, Otom said the G5 has no regret for supporting Tinubu's victory in the last poll declaring that the group will again back the ex lagos governor for his second term. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, we are very proud of you. We are happy that you made it because the aim and the ambition of G5 was that a southern president will emerge after the northern president. And for us, God answered our prayers by Tinubu becoming the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. For those of us who are Christians, we know that John 3, 27 says that a man can receive nothing except it's given to him from above. It is God that gave President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and all of us must support him. You are aware that the position of G5 during the last administration was that the former administration took Nigeria from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. They said it three times. It is not an easy task for President Bola Metinibu to come in. We have to be patient. We have to understand with him. We have to be prayerful. We have to work together to ensure that he succeeds. President Tinibu told me when we were meeting, he said, look, Somebody told you don't try this very insistent. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.